cleaned up behind the theater here and rearranged the boxes of props and straightened the curtains and now if I can just get those backdrops in the right order, I'll be finished for the day. Hey, Gramps. Well, hello there, Noah. You sure do get a lot done every day. Aren't you getting tired? Nah, this stuff isn't hard work. Maybe, but you're like the energizer puppet of all time. <laughs> Why, thank you, Noah. That's nice of you to say, but it helps the waiting if I can stay busy. But you calling me an energizer reminds me of the Apostle Paul in the New Testament. He was like the energizer apostle. No matter what happened, he kept on preaching the gospel. Well, and lots of people tried to stop him, too. They sure did. After he and Silas were released from jail in Philippi, they went to Lydia's house to encourage the believers, and then they left for Thessalonica. And, as was his custom, Paul went to the synagogue to preach about Jesus. Some of the Jews believed, as did a large number of God-fearing Greeks. But, don't tell me, the Jews who wouldn't believe got jealous and started trouble. Yep, they rounded up some bad characters and started a riot. Since they couldn't find Paul, they grabbed Jason, the man whose house Paul and Silas were staying in, and dragged them before the city officials. After the turmoil quieted down, they made Jason and the others post bond and let them go. What a scary mess. That night, the brothers sent Paul and Silas to Berea, where the people loved hearing them and studied every day to see what Paul said, if what Paul said was true. Many believed, both Jews and Bereans. Oh, well, that was better. Whoa, it was. Until the Jews back in Thessalonica heard about it. Oh, no, not again. They started trouble. So the believers sent Paul to Athens. Silas and Timothy stayed for a while in Berea until Paul sent word for them to join him as soon as possible. Oh, yeah, I remember. Paul preached a famous sermon in Athens, and a lot of people there believed in Jesus. Yes, that's true. After a while, Paul went to Corinth, where he met a couple named Aquila and Priscilla. They were believers and tent makers, since Paul was also a tent maker. They all worked together, spreading the gospel and making a living by making tents. Cool. Paul was a tent maker. I like it. Uh, after, Saul, uh, after Silas and Timothy caught up with him, there Paul went back to preaching full time. A great many people became believers. One night, God sent a vision to Paul saying, Do not be afraid. Keep on speaking. Do not be silent, for I am with you. And no one is going to attack and harm you, because I have many people in this city. Oh, uh, did the Jews cause trouble there too? Oh, yes, but apparently they'd finally realized that starting riots didn't work, so they brought legal charges against Paul and took him to court. <clears throat> but as Paul was about to answer the charges, the proconsul threw the case and the complainants right out of court. He said he would judge civil matters, but not anything to do with their religion. Finally, a peaceful outcome. Not quite. The Jews beat up Sosthenes, the ruler of the synagogue, right in front of the courthouse, and the proconsul did nothing. Well, those Jews were never going to give up, were they? After a long time, Paul left Timothy and Silas in Corinth, and he and Priscilla and Aquila went to Ephesus. Then he left them there and returned to Antioch. You're right, Gramps. Paul just kept on going and going. Nothing stopped him from preaching the gospel. It makes me wonder what I can do, since we're all stuck up here in this attic. Well, Paul didn't let being locked up stop him. Paul got locked up? Oh dear, I'm getting ahead of where we are, but even though we're kind of slowed down here in this attic, it doesn't mean we have to be stopped. I've been writing some new scripts and putting them in with the old ones that the humans wrote for us. Yeah, I started some scripts, too. I think I'll go work on them. 
Oh, land of rest for thee, I sigh. When will the moment come? When I shall lay my armor by and dwell in peace at home. We'll work till Jesus comes. We'll work till Jesus comes. We'll work till Jesus comes and we'll 